Okay, so uh, that took me about eight minutes, so that was pretty good. Um, I need to wrap out my conclusion, and the conclusion is, actually the good news is it's kind of easy uh, once you've got your introduction. So my introduction was HPT, so my um, conclusion is basically just going to be T, P, and then H. So I want to kind of go backwards out from my essay. So would you first draw them in and you kind of let them go right at the end. So I need to restate my thesis um, and I'm not going to use color coding because I'm not really structuring it that way right now. I'm just giving general thoughts. So um, restate my thesis. So um, I'm going to actually acknowledge the fact that kind of part of the way through my essay I realized that these authors had a lot more in common than I originally wanted to give them credit for. So I'm going to say, uh, while it may appear that Russell, actually, you know what, I'm going to say these authors because I feel like I've um, said their names enough. While it may appear that these authors agree with one another, I could go on and say they actually um, have slight differences. But if I say that, I'm making myself wrong, right? Because I said that they have stark differences. So I'm going to actually say, um, while it may appear that these authors agree with one another, um, the differences I'm going to say something like quite significant. Um, I want to tie back in the idea of the good life, right? So um, extend the page here. Uh, going to tie back in the idea of the good life. So. Um, When it comes to living the good life, when it comes to living the good life, let's see, I'm going to put a comma here, the small differences Tell you what, the small differences shape individual outcomes, right? So uh, I want to drive a Cadillac as a symbol of success. You want to drive a Rolls Royce. Um, to me, those are two subtle differences, maybe because they're both luxury cars, but it's a totally different experience. So the small differences shape um, individuals' outcomes. I'll put a uh, apostrophe there. And then now what I want to do is I want to do, uh, I call it an inverse hook, something that just gives the reader something to think about on the way out, right? So um, something that gives them something to think about on the way out. I could say that thing about the Cadillac and the Rolls Royce, but to me that's too disconnected. I want to keep it related to Thoreau and Russell. Um, so, uh, good life. Let me think here. What is the good life for me? The good life for me is, is it has nothing to do with um, disconnecting or connecting to society. Uh, it has more to do with, um, oh, man, this is tough. This is always the hardest part, these hook statements. They're so general. Um, tell you what I'm going to do. My P and my H actually kind of ended up switching here. 
so I'm going to do just that. I'm going to now say something about self-discipline and uh, interconnectedness. So um, let's see here. Success has little to do with discipline or success has little to do with discipline or connectivity. And this is this is my thought here. I don't have to ground this on what these two authors are saying because I'm leaving them with my ultimate summation here. Success has little to do with discipline or connectivity. Um, Rather, it becomes, okay, it becomes an issue of perspective, okay? So, success has little to do with discipline or connectivity, rather it becomes an issue of perspective. What does that mean? I don't know. But anyway, it sounds good and it's on paper and it rounds out my essay in a way that makes sense to me. So we're going to call it a day and I'm going to get into my proofreading stage because that is also important.